Hey Justine, um, I figured out how to get the thing to work so you can see it in Enscape now working. So if I swing into the building, right, you're getting images. You're still getting some overlapping, like you said, with the uh, with the structure, but it looks like pretty much everything's working, right? Um, if you come in and spin around, you're not getting the, the flickering except for in some unique places, I think, where you have overlapping um, surfaces. So let me show you how that kind of works. So here's here's your file, right, that you sent me. And I'm not really going to mess with anything right now. You'll have to sort of figure out what you need to turn on and turn off for this. But I would suggest you do like a separate file for your renderings. and Because this is going to mess up where you are located in the XYZ. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to window around this stuff. And I'm going to file um, export selected. Right, and I'll save this as export model. Okay. And it's going to export all that stuff. And then I'm just going to go to File, New. And I'm just going to start a large object feet and inches. You know, just a blank file. And then what I'm going to do is go to File and Import. And I'll get that um, export model that I just did. Right, and I'll click Open. And you'll see it'll bring it in, but you don't see it anywhere here. So if I go to the top and I type Z return, E return, and I zoom out, you can't see the C plane at all. But if I type in line and I start that line from 0, 0, 0, whoops, and I draw it, let's just say, to somewhere past here, right? And then I do zoom return you can see how far away you are from that so what I'm going to do is basically window around the model and I'm going to move it and I'm just going to move it and if I hover over this guy it'll give me the endpoint. I don't want to snap on any part of the model just to keep it at the original zero but you'll notice I'll get rid of midpoint down here but I just have endpoint and O snap on and if I hover over this it should come in here and you could zoom in on it, you know, kind of get the endpoint of that line, right? Because we just want that endpoint. And then you zoom out far enough, and then you just come in and get the endpoint of that line. And you'll see it moves it, right? So if I delete this line now, and I go Z return, E return, I get that guy. And I'm kind of close. You could move it a little closer, but that should be close enough. Um, if I zoom out here, you can see your model. And then if I go in and I start Enscape, so minimize this and let's start Enscape. And I zoom in on it, you'll see, right, that it's it's not flickering and it's not doing all that weird stuff that it was before because now it's closer to to the origin, so you can you'll have to set up your views again, um, but you'll have to you know you have to move your origin closer to the model.